Aloha mai kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes and today we'll be making manju. Manju is a popular Japanese confection that originated in China. Here in Hawaii we like to use all kinds of different fillings. Today we'll be doing sweet potato but you can also do apple, custard, chocolate, red bean paste, white bean paste. There are tons of different options. It's a small buttery flaky crust stuffed with whatever you want inside. It's like a pan-held pocket pie that you can take with you places. Before I get started, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I post a new video. Doing these things helps support my channel and get my videos out to more eyes and have more people enjoy all the yummy recipes of Hawaii. So hele mai, come along and let's make some sweet potato manju. All right, let's get started. To the bowl of a stand mixer, add flour, sugar, and salt. Then mix it until just combined. Next, you're gonna wanna add your butter. You wanna make sure this is cold, so work quickly to keep that coldness. If after mixing you've still got some large chunks of butter, you can use a dough cutter like this to go ahead and smush together the rest of it. The final texture should look like coarse sand, kind of like this. Then you're going to add your milk. Return the paddle attachment to the mixer and begin mixing. Then you're going to add your egg yolks one by one and continue mixing while incorporating. When everything is well combined, the dough should look like this. Then you're going to take your dough and lay it out into some plastic wrap. and shape it into a log. This will help later when it comes time to cut the dough. You're going to wrap it up in the saran wrap and place it in the fridge for at least an hour or overnight. Then you're going to work on your sweet potato. Peel it, cube it up, and place it into boiling water and boil until fork tender. You can use any type of sweet potato you want here. I like to use these Okinawan sweet potatoes. Once fork tender, go ahead and drain the water and the potatoes. To a clean pot, add sugar and water. And you're going to boil this until the sugar dissolves and the water is clear. Add the drained sweet potatoes back into the simple syrup mix that you just made. Okinawan sweet potatoes are a little more on the drier side, so this helps incorporate some moisture back in and a little bit of sweetness. Next, remove the dough from the refrigerator and unwrap. You're going to cut the dough into cylinder pieces. My dough is a little bit too soft here, and you can always throw your dough back into the fridge to harden up a little more. You're going to take one of those pieces and flatten the edges. Keep the center a little bit thicker and the edges thinner. This will help when you need to close it up. Then you take a scoop of the sweet potato, place it in the middle. I had a little too much, so I took some off from this point. Then you're going to pinch together the seams and smooth to close. Do some final shaping and set aside. If your dough is too soft, you can roll the dough into a ball in your hand and start the shaping process from there. So same thing, thin the sides out a little bit, keeping the center a little bit thicker, and then go ahead and place your scoop in, put the edges together, and smooth to seal. When you're done shaping, go ahead and place on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. And then you're going to take an egg wash mixture, which is just one egg mixed together with a tablespoon of water, and brush the tops of the manju. This is going to give it the classic golden brown color on the top. Mm -hmm. 
place the manju in the oven at 350 degrees and bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until the tops are golden brown. Remove, let cool, and enjoy! And that's how you make sweet potato manju. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, please let me know. I love seeing all your work, as I always say. And as always, recipe instructions and ingredients are always listed in the description box below. And until next time, I'll we hope. Thank you for watching my mom's video.